every night before bed, my son used to break down like clockwork. Not because he was scared, not because he was sad, because I asked him to read. 15 minutes, that's it. But every time something would crack inside of him, his body would tense, tears pouring, snot streaming, anger in his eyes. Dad, why do I have to read for 15 minutes every night? And I would sit there holding the book in one hand and his pain in the other, wondering, why does something so small feel so impossible for him? But it wasn't laziness. It wasn't a behavior issue. It was his vision. Not his eyesight, not the kind that's corrected with glasses. And that's the most important thing you're all gonna learn here today, that eyesight and vision are not the same thing. Eyesight is our ability to focus light clearly. Vision is far more complex. Vision is how our brain processes, organizes, stores all of the information coming in through our eyes. Eyesight is glasses. Vision is brain. And most eye doctors, they don't even test for vision. And most parents, they don't even know vision exists. I know because I lived it too. In fact, I was my son. I had these vision issues too. And that's why now I'm a functional eye doctor. I'm here so that others don't have to struggle unnecessarily just like I did. As a kid, fitting in with my peers really mattered. But because of these functional vision problems in baseball, I would strike out. On the soccer field, I would just freeze, totally overwhelmed in space. I fought my parents on homework. I could never pick up on sight words. I would write so many of my letters flipped and all reversed around. I'm on car rides, I got super motion sick. And I struggled with confidence, which impacted my performance in the classroom and my behavior at home with, with my parents and with my peers. And here's how these vision issues may show up for you or somebody you know. Maybe it's an email from a teacher urging you to seek out additional testing because your kid's behavior in the classroom has gotten out of hand. Maybe it's tears with homework or grades in school that don't even come close to reflecting intelligence or potential. Maybe it's headaches or eye strain or tired eyes on the computer. Maybe it's poor eye contact. And so often in the reactive medical world, you or your child get labeled or misdiagnosed with ADD, ADHD, dyslexia, learning disabilities, autism spectrum disorders, because so many of the symptoms and behaviors of these labels are so similar to those of hidden functional vision problems. These are incomplete diagnoses without addressing vision first. Vision directs behavior. And simply put, if we cannot control our eyes and their ability to focus, then we cannot control our mind and its ability to focus. But it's not just diagnoses. What about other simple things that are impacting daily life? If you get motion sick, if you're hesitant around stairs or escalators, if you're constantly knocking into things or bumping into walls, if you fear driving at night, if you're a toe walker, or if you struggle with executive functioning and inattention, these are functional vision problems and they can all be treated through something called vision performance training. Vision is learned. We aren't born with the ability to read or to use our eyes to converge, to track, to focus, or even with the ability to see in 3D. This is all developed through our life experiences. And it's either learned appropriately through the right sequencing of developmental milestones or learned poorly leading to vision imbalances. The problem is your visual system is 4 billion years old. And it developed at a time when its sole purpose was to focus far away, outside in natural light, scanning the horizon for dinner and for danger. That same system that evolved for life back in the caveman days is now clashing against modern day demands that have us reading before we're visually ready, indoors and sedentary for most of our time, and locked into near screens. So I want to share the three big problems I see with this. First, let's talk about reading and learning. It's estimated that over 80% of what's learned in the classroom comes through the visual processing of information. And sadly, one in four children has a vision problem significant enough to impact learning. When children haven't developed the visual skills and abilities necessary to support these demands, they'll experience symptoms like losing their place with reading, skipping words, skipping lines, 
words going into and out of focus and becoming blurry, sometimes even double, trouble copying from the distance in the blackboard, and of course, difficulty focusing. And then that child develops a negative association with reading and with learning and is often targeted by the school. If you know a child who struggles in school, who hates reading, or who is squirmy with desk work, chances are they have a hidden functional vision problem and one that's likely treatable through vision performance training. Number two, screens and strain. We are in a screen time pandemic. All day long, we stare at these 2D devices, often inches from our face, blasting high energy light at us for hours on end. We're taking in all this color and brightness and contrast and visual stimuli that our bodies don't know what to do with. Our eyes and brains were not designed to take on that much strain and process that much visual information. According to the Vision Council, at least 60% of Americans experience some form of digital eye strain. We all know the symptoms, headaches, blurred vision, dry eyes, tired eyes. And as per the CDC, the average eight to 10 year old spends six hours a day on screens. And I don't even wanna share that statistic for adults. I wanna show you something here. Everybody take your hands and make a fist and squeeze them as tightly as you can. Don't release the pressure, just hold them there. Your hands are already getting pretty tired, aren't they? That same strain is what's happening with your focusing system, the accommodative system, the inside muscles of your eyes responsible for making things clear and they're under tension when you're on screens for too long. So next time you're on a Zoom call or endlessly scrolling, those muscles are contracting without a break. The same way your hands ache after that extended squeeze, extended screen time can cause headache, eye strain, dry eyes, and a visual system that's locked up. And an inflexible visual system leads to trouble with reading and writing and desk work and even myopia or nearsightedness. We all have the opportunity to become screen fit, where our eyes and our brains work together in harmony so we don't have to struggle unnecessarily with hidden functional vision problems. With vision performance training, we rewire the software of the brain to be able to handle near demand while restoring stamina and flexibility and efficiency so these symptoms do not occur. Number three, recovery and resilience with traumatic brain injury. Concussions don't just happen to athletes. According to the National Institutes of Health, right down the road from one of my offices in Bethesda, Maryland, 28% of Americans have had at least one concussion in their lifetime. And most people don't even realize that their present day symptoms can often be tied to or connected to a prior head injury. So maybe you hit your head on the countertop or had a playground accident when you were younger and you never got your eye brain connection checked. And I'm not talking about getting your eyesight checked after a head injury. What I'm talking about is getting your vision checked because eyesight and vision are two completely different things. And there are more areas of our brain dedicated to processing vision than all of the other senses combined. Two thirds of the neurons entering our brain actually originate from the eyes. So it's kind of impossible to have a head injury and not have vision be impacted. It's just a matter of at what level. So maybe you don't need glasses after your head injury, but you notice in the months or even years after that you're suffering from light sensitivity, sensory overload, or strained eyes when you're on the computer screen for too long. And all of a sudden, everyday life tasks, like going to the mall or the grocery store, become so overwhelming and hard. You've got digital vision disorder and post-concussion vision syndrome, yet nobody's diagnosed it. These eye-brain connection problems can be identified with the right testing. And most importantly, they can be treated and reversed with vision performance training. I've had thousands of patients come through my office convinced that something else was wrong with them, when in reality, their eyes were not working well together as a team, causing confusion in their brains and chaos in their lives. Just like we can exercise and strengthen our bodies, we can exercise and strengthen the eye-brain connection. Vision performance training helps us develop the neurological pathways to make accurate eye movements, to process visual information fluidly, and to efficiently use our visual system for longer periods of time, symptom free. This work is what guided my way and changed my life. I went from being a reluctant reader 
the last one picked for sports teams and insecure to an avid reader, stud with athletics and confident kid. And when I started to notice these same issues emerge with my son at an earlier age, throwing tantrums over reading, begging his twin sister to read for him so he wouldn't have to decode the words himself, I knew he too needed vision performance training. He's now 11 years old, reads for pleasure, the wide receiver on an elite flag football team, and his confidence has soared. And it turns out for both me and my son, there was actually a pretty cool kid underneath all that frustration and struggle. And now it's my mission to educate and empower others so they too can discover and unlock their own potential. For me, vision was the missing piece to a puzzle that allowed me to live a life of clarity and purpose. And I've now ensured the same for my son and for thousands of others. And it destroys me to see others struggle unnecessarily with hidden functional vision problems. So please, if I can do anything here today, think about that brilliant kid or that successful person who is obscured by something as simple as what's right in front of them. Our eyes need to work together as a team and need to communicate seamlessly with our brain because when we put our vision first, we can all unlock our true potential. Thank you.